police can often mistake black journalists for protesters and as we've seen are heavy handed in their approach. Some quick tips for black journalists who are covering the current racial justice movement. Number one, make sure that your employers and managers understand the heightened risks that you face as a black journalist. Make sure you always have your press card at hand and have a security contact at the office who can confirm your employment there. Number two, keep it moving. Never stay in one place for too long. When you're going to a protest, survey the area, speak to people, but don't stay put, especially when you see a police or military response. Number three, when you return home from the protest, take the time to calm down before you start assessing your material. It will give you the perspective that you need to really finish the job. That brings us on to mental health. Take care of yourself. This is crucial. We often experience burnout when we're dealing with trauma content, but also when we are running on schedules that are fueled by anxiety and guilt and the emotions that we experience when we see our people struggle. The job of a journalist is not easy. So be mindful of the gravity of this task when you do it, because it can catch up with you. Make sure that you are constantly engaging with people who care about you and love you and keeping them up to date on your mental health because if it deteriorates you need to know that you are held. Mm -hmm.